Hi, this is Matt from Understanding E, and in this how to guide, we'll be showing you how to add a, a YouTube video to your eBay listing in five steps. Um, so, I've already been and created a video, um, and I'm going to upload it to uh, YouTube right now. And again, I'd suggest just pick YouTube, it's really, really easy to do, it's completely free, and you'll master it in a couple of minutes. Um, and you'll see how quick it is right now. So I'm going to click the upload button, okay, uh, along the top. Now I've got two options. I can either drag and drop a video file here, uh, or I can uh, hit the upload button. And what I'm going to do, I've cre created a really <laughs> awful product video, um, but it suits the purpose of our example. And I'm just going to drag and drop it on here, and it'll take a few moments for it to upload. Uh, while it's uploading, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for you to update the other fields which are on here. For example, the title. Now, this title is a, um, a really bad video um, around uh, some insulation tape. So, insulation tape product demo for understanding E. So, I'm going to put the title in there. And then the description in here. Now, if this was for the understanding E site, then we'd include a direct link in there. Um, but this is not. I'm going to pop in. Uh, this is a sample video for understanding E. Probably how not to make a product <laughs> video in there. And again, I'm just going to go back and sort the uh, um, spelling mistakes out in there. Uh, a quick, really important note here is that if you are using YouTube, then it's really important that if you do have a product link, then to play, actually put that. Um, it the first part of the actual description. The reason for that is is the comments box is always um, closed up on YouTube, and if you want people to click through to your site, then it's really important that you put the link in there so they can get out to your site very quickly. So I'm going to pop that in there, and the tags. Now, um, I'm just, if you want to use more than one uh, word in a tag. Um, then you need to put them in speech marks, and it's given me some other examples. Demonstration, um, and I'm just going to put example for a video in there as well. Okay, you do have some other extra options in here. Is like you um, number one is public, and I'm going to leave this one public on YouTube. You can have it as unlisted. So if you've got product videos which only you want to use in your listings, then you might want to use the unlisted option and private. You can sp set specific people to view your videos, and again, we don't want that for, the, uh, for this example. Um, we want public or unlisted. And then I'd also personally suggest you just leave it on the standard YouTube license. Okay. And while I've been chatting, um, it's uh, actually uploaded it, and the video is here now. Okay. I'm going to press Save Changes down at the bottom, so my changes have been saved. Oops. I need to. Uh, uh, include a category and I'm just going to hit save again and you can see the video URL and an embed but the embed code here is not going to be the best um, uh, we want to customize that mainly because I want a bigger video so if I go in here and click right click so I've come to the actual uh, video page itself on YouTube and you'll notice there's a share button just here so if I click share and then the extra button which you need is called embed okay um, and now for this video I'm going to specify a width of 960 um, you can just use either the default you can choose a smaller video medium size a large size or uh, specify your own or a super sized version now I would not suggest you use a supervised super sized version of 1280 by 750 or in fact nothing bigger than a thousand pixels that's what the PX means to the right over here nothing more than a thousand wide because that will go off the sides of most people's screens okay so I would actually choose 960 for the point of um, for, 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 um, for eBay but again it depends what your listing templates doing if you've got a very narrow template for the video to go in in the content section then 640 by 390 might be ideal and it really depends on the circumstances now a huge huge tip here is to not show suggested videos that could get you in trouble with eBay um, because some of the other videos which get um, carried on after this video number one may break eBay's policies number two may promote your a your competitors products and b you don't really have any great control over what those related videos are so I would not choose that option 
Also, you need to tick this box, and it's crucially important that you choose old embed code. If I untick that, you'll see there's an iframe um, HTML tag in there. Now, the iframe tag is classed as naughty by eBay, and you're not allowed to use it. So you need to choose the use old embed code. So I'm just going to double click in there and right click, and I've copied the code. Okay, so that's for step two. That's how we actually get the code, and we can also change the options there as well. If you've uploaded your video in HD, you can elect for the video to be in high definition or not. Um, I would actually suggest that you do do it in HD. Okay, and moving on to um, step three, which is actually put it into your eBay listing. Um, I've been and created a, uh, a sample eBay listing here on the sell your item form. If you're using other tools like Linworks or Easter Pro or Channel Visor and so on and so forth, they'll all vary on how you can paste video in there. However, in this example, we're using the sell your item form. Now, if you can use your imagination, we've got the description part beforehand. I've put a video um, placeholder here, and it's really, really, e uh, it's a really top tip. This one is that if you, if, as you write in your description and you work out where you want your video to go, um, because the HTML can be a little bit hard to read, just type in video in caps like so. So when we go to the HTML tab in a moment, you can see exactly where it is, and then I carried on. And again, use your imagination. This mother description here. If you then click the HTML tab, and then you can see there's the video part, which I mentioned a few moments ago. Now I'm just going to delete that, and then make a few line breaks in there. And I'm going to right click and paste, and I've entered in the code which we took from YouTube. Okay. If you were to go back to the standard tab, then the, the, it's not actually there. Don't panic, the code is still there. If I go to the HTML tab, Okay, now down at the bottom, which is step four, is actually check the preview. Okay, so I'm going to click continue and we'll then go to the preview page where we can re um, review all the item details which we've got on the listing itself. And there's a preview your listing box. Okay, and then we'll scroll down and we saw there is a description and there's the video with a really bad uh, open slide image on there okay and then you can see the other details there and once you're happy with your um, the way which your listing looks then it's a case of going down the bottom hitting list your item and then ensuring it's okay on eBay